Preparing for a flight is stressful, especially when you realize that you don't even know if you can take your vape with you on the plane. Luckily, this video was designed to be a vapor's guide to traveling with all of your vape devices. So the short, yes, you can take your vape devices and vape juice on a plane, but no, this does not include substances like cannabis or THC cartridges. CBD is allowed, but it's risky, and we'll get into that later. Question now is, how do I take my vape, mod, and juice on a plane safely while following all of TSA's regulations? Flying with a vape pen or batteries. Although you can take your vape device on a plane, they are not permitted to be transported inside of your checked luggage. Lithium ion batteries are explosive, and your luggage exploding could land you in a lot of trouble. So pack it in your pocket or in your carry-on. It's a good idea to put your device in a clear plastic bag as well. Bonus tip, if you bring extra batteries, make sure to store them in a silicone or plastic battery case. So what about vape juice? Bottles that are 100 milliliters or less are permitted in your carry-on provided they are placed in one quart plastic bag. You only get one plastic bag to store all of your liquids in per passenger so throw out that mini shampoo bottle and jam an extra summer dream in there for good measure. Any liquid greater than 100 milliliters must be placed inside of your checked bag. Bonus tip, if you are traveling to the EU, the sale of e-liquid is limited to a maximum nicotine concentration of 20 milligrams and a maximum bottle size of 10 milliliters. So plan accordingly if you're an avid vapor. Now what about CBD? Even though the TSA's official policy allows CBD on airplanes, many TSA officers still do not have the proper training or equipment to distinguish CBD products from marijuana products. It is ultimately up to the discretion of the TSA agent to determine whether or not a product appears to be illegal. So it is probably best if you just plan on getting your CBD products after you land. If you use an RDA or RDTA and plan on carrying vape coils or wires with you on the plane, be ready to explain to the TSA screener why you have wires and scissors with you. Scissors are allowed on a plane in your carry-on bag as long as the blades do not exceed 4 inches. Otherwise, they should go in your checked bag. Either way, make sure to sheath the blade to prevent injury to baggage handlers and inspectors. Some final notes. Don't vape in an airport or an airplane unless you are in a designated smoking area. It is illegal and could get you arrested. Do your own research on the airliner you're taking and the local laws of your destination. Some airliners have more strict rules than others, and certain states and countries have their own vape laws. Do your due diligence to avoid getting into any trouble. Don't take glass bottles, as these are much more likely to break. And finally, be mindful of cabin pressure. Make sure that your bottles and tanks are underfilled to give the juice room to expand inside of your bottle or tank. If you don't, there's a good chance that your juice will leak out, and nobody wants that. There you have it. All the things you need to know to fly with your vape juice and devices. If you think we missed anything, please let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you click subscribe, and ding that bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Safe travels, and as always, breathe easy, OM fam.